less money. I was able to get a little bit, slightly better price on the peace dollar at 649.95, but only 299 in our first day of issue, exclusive, 100% exclusive to us is what we're uh, uh, looking at here for the United States peace dollar. Only $6.99 each coin individually numbered. First day of issue, of course, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN. I think this is a truly, truly ultimately spectacular coin to be able to get individually. As you look at that coin, it is stunning. It was done as a commemorative originally for the end of World War One. It was supposed to be only a one-year commemorative coin in 1921. It was so immensely popular that the United States Mint then continues to make that coin uh, for another 14 years to 1935 is what they started to do. And this, in this incredible uh, relief that you see right here is, is the original design as embodied. I think it's absolutely positively stunning, uh, absolutely stunning that you have. And one of the few times you'll see an eagle, an eagle on the United States coin that's not in flight, okay, or not without its wings spread. Also, uh, all e almost all eagles on the United States coins have uh, the olive branch of peace in one talon and the arrows of war in the other talon. And we're like, hey, take your pick. We can go either way. This one only has the olive branch of peace in its talons, like I said, getting the end of, of World War One. So, I mean, it's special in many, many, many ways, special in many, many, to many, many, many degrees. And you see that one dollar. So it is literally a silver dollar that you see right here. You know, like I said, the United States peace silver dollar, also true to the original design, where it says in God we trust trust. The U in trust is spelled with a V, okay, because the United States motto for World War I was V for victory, was V for victory. And so that is true to the original design of the 1921 peace dollar as well. The U is, is uh, uh, represented as a V, as in V for victory. And as you can see, it's kind of slightly emboldened in, the, in it itself to kind of pull it out uh, and just highlight that as well. Hey, Mike, you actually kind of answered my question. And so that is the only time that particular eagle design has been used on a U.S. coin then? Yes, that's no correct. No kidding. That's funny because, like, yeah, that was actually one of the questions I was going to ask you. And then you were, you were cutting to the chase. It's like you were reading my mind, <laughs> which is very scary because that's a dark and dangerous <laughs> place to be, Mike Mizak. I'm just telling you right now. Um, <laughs> again, you can read my mind. That, that would be no worries. pretty frightening. All right. Well, we have turned the page. This is a special primetime coin collector showcase here at HSN. I'm Shannon. I'm with my friend Mike Mizak. He's been here for over 25 years. He has been really the king of coins. Um, for getting closer to that four decade mark. And I will tell you, in the time that I've known Mike, and I, you know, not only here at HSN, but in a, you know, prior shopping entity, this is what we wait for. <laughs> The wall of coins, the famous wall of coins. And uh, we were, I was trying to give Mike uh, props where props are due, which uh, honestly, there aren't enough kudos to give him credit for really, he is, he, he really sets the standard when it comes to so many things um, in the coin industry. But Mike, the wall of coins, the state quarters, which of course I know have a, a eternal favorite spot in our hearts here at HSN. What have you assembled? Because I got to tell you, um, I was watching, you know, the couple of different television series that were set in the 1990s, and I'm not holding up so well. I'm from the 1960s. This really celebrates the state quarters, but it also looks like we've got that, um, of course, the officially licensed packaging. Tell everybody about this. Yeah, the, the state quarters, like I said, near and dear to my heart. The 1999 state quarters were the first coins, uh, uh, contemporaneous coins. I sold them in HS at HSN, I think, in 1999, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> it's, been, it's been that long. Uh, so uh, with the United States coin collecting industry, it was just a bunch of stodgy old guys uh, uh, like me way back in 1999. And then the United States government decides to spice things up. And they take the Washington Quarter, and they decide to commemorate every single state in the Union on the back of the Washington Quarter. And it was a monstrous, amazing, incredible, phenomenal success, unlike anything that the United States made. And it really has created it by itself the renaissance of American coin collecting. And that's what we're seeing. Well, these are the original sets. And then we went from the state quarters, and then we went to the national parks quarters, and we did all the quarters everywhere uh, that are out there. But this is how it all started. 
in 1999. And these are the entire complete proof sets. Now, for those of you that are unaware, a proof set, the United States government makes every single year a proof set. It is, and remember, proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. Proof coins are made, and they're the embodiment of the minter's art, if you will. They, uh, they, they show the... Uh, they're struck multiple times under higher pressure, giving you that mirror field and then that, that beautiful cameo appearance that you see on these. They're made in far fewer quantities, far stricter quantities than are the, uh, than are the regular coins by the United States Mint. I mean, that's just the way that it is because these are the, these are the embodiment of those, of those things. And so when we get these... OK, when we get these, they sell out. And like you said, yeah, this is the wall of coins. This is the first time we've seen the wall of coins in quite some time uh, because they become more and more and more difficult to get. Now, I understand, look, silver eagles are not the only thing made by the United States government. I know it may seem that way. OK, so here we have the coins now. So I wanted to set up what, what, what a proof set is. Now, one of the reasons you never see complete sets, particularly now they're going back 20, 20 years is because this is like buying like a coin dealer. Point, coin dealers, we buy sets like this and we break them up because these are San Francisco minted coins. The only way to get these coins is in these proof sets. It's the only way to get them. So what we have to do, so if we're selling to, let's say, uh, uh, Kennedy half dollar collectors, the only way to get a 2003 estimated Kennedy half dollars to break that set open and pull it out. Same thing with the 2003 estimate proof penny, the Sacagawea dollar, all of those things. The only way to get them is to break these sets open. And so because of that, I have a little chart here, that if you break these sets open, coin by coin, it's not $329. That's why you get to buy these, you get to buy like a coin deal. Coin by coin, it's not 329 or 429 or 529 or 629 or 729 or even a thousand and twenty-nine dollars. It's far more than that on a coin by coin basis. As a matter of fact, if you can, go down to the bottom row if you could, Shannon. Okay. That bottom row is the 2009 United States government proof set. We're basically paying $29.95 a set. Wow. All four of those lenses. All four of those lenses are the United States government issued to, uh, uh, 2009 proof set. Individually, if you look at that, those coins, so let's take the presidential dollars in there. You're looking at $11 for the one, or uh, $6.65 a piece for those. So that's $25, $28 just for that. So that's basically the cost of the set. Wow. But if you go right next door to that, now you're starting to see the price of things get absolutely crazy. Those pennies right there, yeah. those are the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cent. Oh. Those sell for $13.50 a piece. $13.50 a piece. So now we're already up. That's another $60. So we're already about $80. And then if you look at all the quarters in there, those are $7 a piece, and there's six of those. So that's another, uh, uh, that's another uh, uh, bunch of money. Uh, we're going to be uh, six, $7 for the half dollar, the dime, the nickel. So what we're looking at, it's $151 coin by coin. Half the price of the entire series just for the 2009. If we go up to the 2008... Because of all of the rarity of the last year of issue of that and the Kennedy, the Kennedy half dollar is forty six dollars and ninety five cents. Oh, wow. That set is two hundred and forty dollars coin by coin. Oh wow! <gasps> so basically, the last two years, four hundred dollars coin by coin for the last two years. I insist that you take the other nine sets. <laughs> I insist that you take. The other nine sets that comes with this, it is the complete United States state quarter program in proof condition in original government packaging, all 56 coins, the 50 state quarters and the six territorial quarters. It's the first 10 years of the Sacagawea golden dollar. That alone, I think, adds up to uh, $250 for the Sacagawea golden dollars. That's an additional value. The Kennedy half dollars in this collection, 100 
$75. The quarters sell for more than $329 individually. I mean, the pennies are $125. So well over $1,000 coin by coin. So that's why you buy this in the original government packaging, and they're worth even more in the original government packaging. And so we have the entire set, $29.95 a set, which is basically uh, the price of the United States uh, uh, proof sets originally, in essence, okay? It was basically with shipping and handling about $29.95 a set. It's like going back in a numismatic time capsule and just not ever having to pay any extra money 20 years later. Original government packaging, all of them original proof, every single one of them sold out limited editions, and you get the entire thing. One phone call gets them all. One phone call gets them all that you have right here. Shannon, I've not had this in forever. And the reason is... Everybody's fixated on Silver Eagles. There are other coins, folks. There are other coins that are available in the marketplace. And I think I think the, the, the lesson here is many of them, including this set, to my mind, are vastly, vastly undervalued currently because everybody is focused elsewhere. Stop focusing elsewhere. Focus right here, right now. Look, get the Silver Eagles, get that stuff. It's a brand new thing. It's all that stuff. It's really important. I think it's fantastic. But folks, these original coins that you have right here in original sets, these are the coins to get as well. Like I said, the quarters alone over $300. The Kennedy half dollar is almost $300. Get the sets. I've got them in stock for the first, I think it might be the first time this, uh, in two or three months that I've had these. Well, and I will tell you this, there are only a couple hundred to go around. Of course, extended holiday return policy, flex pay, apply and buy. And I gotta tell you something, uh, here's another one, another set to get, that wall of coins we just don't see. We do see thousands of items at hsn.com though, in case you didn't know about that. In fact, not only exclusive items and things that you never get a chance to see here at HSN, but we've got videos, we've got celebrities, we've got a lot of great stuff going on at hsn.com so i really encourage you to check that out um, all right we're continuing with our coin collector here at hsn and of course the our king of coins mike mizak he has only one more show after this for the rest of the year one more show after this for the rest of the year. And there's a lot of information to process. Uh, we have the set to get, that um, that curated Carson uh, set that we were talking about, or I should say that Morgan set last hour. We sold almost two thirds of the inventory. We're gonna have an encore, but abbreviated. And I do mean abbreviated look coming up this hour. And we've got them. They're not in some port, some ship in some harbor. Uh, stick around in case you missed last hour. Mike, we're gonna dive right in here. Cause like I said, um, I think this is gonna be the warm up act for that, that set to get. Um, but <laughs> you know, but of course, part of what was you know, sucking the energy in, in the coin collecting world. I shouldn't yeah, say it that way, but you know what I mean? The Silver Eagles yeah. were also like a big headliner in this last, you know, 14, 15, 16 months. And this is another one to, I guess, commemorate a very historic time in coin collecting, isn't it? Well, I mean, probably the, the biggest thing that the United States Mint has done I mean, I know the Morgan silver dollars is a, are a big deal, okay? I mean, obviously, from the way they're selling. But the, but the real story for nine months, ten months out of this year <clears throat> has 100% been the change of the American silver, let's call it, for two years. For two years, it's all anybody's been talking about is the United States Mint has changed the design on the American silver. Eagle. From the old design that you see to the brand new design that you have with the Eagle in flight. That change only occurred the final six months of the year. So it only came out in July, uh, 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 July 1st. <clears throat> so when they come out, they're gonna make three silver eagles in a year. They're gonna make a mint state coin, they're gonna make a proof coin, and they're gonna make a burnished or special uncirculated coin. The most desirable of those coins by far is always the proof coin put out by the United States government. And this is the proof coin of the type two, the brand new. I think we have another one over there that shows the reverse. I'd like to show the reverse on that as well. If not, you can flip that over. Okay. Remember, a proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. Proof coins are made differently. 
Proof coins are made, there we go. Proof coins are made where they're struck multiple times at higher pressure, so the field is that mirror finish, and then the device or the raised part of the coin is kind of this matte finish that you see, where it jumps off the coin. So that's the new design. So when the United States government released this proof, brand new proof type two American Silver Eagle, they released it, it sold out in five minutes because they did something that they have rarely done in the history of the U.S. Mint. What they did is they limited the production. They were short on time. They were short on metal. They were short on blanks. They only made 200,000 coins. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's absolutely nothing. In type twos, the average the average mintage of the American Proof Silver Eagle was six or seven or 800,000 coins. The United States Mint only made 200,000 of these and they sold out in minutes. They sold out in minutes from the United States Mint. And subsequent to that, they have been one of the most desirable and hardest to get coins of all of those. Because once again, it's first year of issue. It's the brand new coin. This is the most desirable design. I have been out of stock on this. Any proof type two Eagle. No proofs have we had for probably the better part of a month. Every single solitary time I put them on the air, they sell out instantly. Not only have I been able to restock a couple of hundred coins here, but I've been able to hold my price at $329.95. I think that's the amazing part. The government's not making any. And here's the insider coin part of this. This is the how you get to do this because uh, inside information because you know me. OK, and you know people that have the know since they limited the quantity on this, since the United States Mint limited the quantity itself. This, in my opinion, is going to be the rarest type two proof silver eagle, not only the first year of issue, but the rarest of all of them. And that is huge. That is absolutely monstrous. So you're going to have the proof of the very first year. You have it certified 70. You also have it in my exclusive dual core holder. And what does that mean? So the core is what holds the coin. And we started uh, a, a couple of years ago doing where we had special cores. But they only had one side. The design basically had one side. This is the first time where we had the design on both sides. It's, it's in essence two cores, one that holds the front, one that holds the back. So you have that beautiful eagle in flight, a representation in the new design, literally kind of holding the coin up that you see right there. And so you've got the exclusivity of design, of presentation. You have the exclusivity of grade that you have here with the fact that it's proof 70. And then you've got the fact that you have a sold out limited edition United States government coin, the proof American Silver Eagle from the very first year of issue back in stock at the same price I've been selling it for all year. Here's one thing I can tell you. Here's one thing I can guarantee to you. That will not continue. This is not a coin that is, uh, uh, it's always going to be in demand. It will always have to be in collector's collections. It will be the rarest of all of the West Point minted proof silver eagles made by the United States government going forward. And they'll make one every single solitary year going forward. They're already started making the 2022s. And they're gonna make, I can promise you, way more. They're gonna make way more than 200,000. They're gonna make 600,000, 800,000, maybe even as many as a million coins is what they're going to make. So you have got that opportunity to own this coin absolute sold out limited edition none of them available in the secondary market that you're going to have right now i have got them in stock ready to go i've got only a couple of hundred coins to go around i was able to find a few coins out there that haven't already been graded almost everything you see out there has already been graded folks be very careful with that when you buy, you know, kind of original coins, because so many of those have already been through the certification process. That's why, you know, we have the 70 coins. It's why I rarely sell uncertified coins here, except when I absolutely positively know that they're what we call fresh coins. And that's what I was able to get, fresh coins. And that's really, really, really important to be able to get the fresh coins. And that is something that is absolutely huge in terms of collectability, in terms of desirability. That's what you want. Now, this is an absolutely perfect coin. So that's guaranteed. You don't have to worry. First year of issue, proof, 
perfect. Exclusive design, exclusive holder, all of that together makes a collection, a collectible that everybody's going to want for generations. They're going to want this for decades. This is always going to be a coin that everybody has to put in their collection, period, is this first year of issue proof American Silver Eagle. Well, and like, like you said, it's always going to be a, a coin that's in demand, but we have yours now. And with only one more show scheduled for the rest of the year, uh, if you can act pronto on this, I would. I mean, we have fewer than 400, uh, and that's not a lot in the big scheme of things because a lot of people shop after the fact. Now, here's what I am, you know, dubiously calling the set to get. And a lot of people are in green with me because more than two thirds of the quantity that we had available are already spoken for. And basically that was in a, a quick little preview with Helen this afternoon. And then the short airing that we had last hour, I, I am confident when I say, when you heard Mark say, or when you heard Mike say the most exciting coin really that he's ever offered. It's, it's a history making coin for us here, or I should say coins here at HSN, let alone in the industry. What we've got is what we've got. So I really hope you can stick around because we will do an abbreviated and I am absolutely confident when I say we will sell them out during that, um, you know, second abbreviated allocation. I realize at first blush, yes, it is more of what we would consider an investment. But when you hear about it, when you listen, when you learn, we do still have a few of the auto ship, which Mike will talk about that as well. But promise me, even if you got stuff to do, keep us on in the background or wherever, but you're going to want to hear about that set to get. You most definitely are. So Mike, we've got one more, uh, actually, I think this is going to be um, the lead in to that set to get a lot of ground to cover here. So I'll turn things over to you. Well, I was talking about the proof Silver Eagle. What we had was the West Point minted proof Silver Eagle that you saw. The United States government also made an S minted proof Silver Eagle type two that you that you see right here. And then in 2021, they also made one proof Silver Eagle of the old design, the type one. What this is is all three proof Silver Eagles from 2021. The last coin in the series, of which only came in West Point. The brand new West Point Mint American Silver Eagle, and then the, the San Francisco Minted Proof American Silver Eagle. So all three proof Silver Eagles that were made in 2021 are in this set. So this is the entire complete 2021 set, which is the last Silver Eagle, uh, proof Silver Eagle ever made by the United States government. And then the first two, not only the W minute proof, but also the S minute proof, which isn't made every year. The S minute proof is made some years, but not all years. I think that's really important for you to understand. So you're going to have that right now. So that is really important, but this is the complete set. Now I have fewer than a hundred of these to go around. I have fewer than a hundred of these sets to go around. The tough coin in this is actually the type one, okay? Is actually the type one coin that you see that's all the way over to the left. And if you turn those over, Shannon, if you can just flip those over, you can see what we're talking about. You can see that it's the old design. Now that's the design that was on the back of the Silver Eagle from 1986 until June the 30th, until June the 30th, 2021. And then the next coin over is the brand new design that was released in July. Actually, it was supposed to be released in July. They held it until August, as a matter of fact, of 2021. So we've got that as well. There we go. Oh, and yeah. And then, yeah, and that's from the San Francisco Mint, okay? That's from the San Francisco Mint. And then they also made, since it was a special first year of issue, they did a, an additional San Francisco Mint. But then you also have the West Point Mint of the new design as well. Nice. Um, Mike, I will tell you, people are, are people are shopping. I mean, they really are. And just remember, any of, well, I will say this, every single opportunity that we have had in the last hour and a half, we haven't had more than three or 400. I'm serious about that. Anything that we've showcased in the last hour and a half, we've had a couple hundred at best. And listen, I think for a lot of us out there, I'm a list maker, you know, I write down my little item numbers when it comes to great things that I see here at HSN. 
Tonight is a night, and this is a show where I really want to encourage you, if you can, do it now. Strike while the iron's hot. That's why that flex pays here. This is another one that is on 18-month. I believe, Steve, I'm saying that right. 18-month? Okay, it is 18-month VIP financing on this. So that makes it a little over $70, like $72 and change if you already have that HSN card. Um, Mike, in, in the big scheme of things, I was kind of jokingly saying, you know, nobody re-gifts money. Nobody, you know, asks for the return slip for money. But, you know, money goes beyond the gift-giving season. It, it really becomes, uh, we keep talking about, you know, legacy selections or legacy purchases. And boy, oh boy, the things that you're doing tonight really fall under that category, don't they? Well, we have so many things. This year is, is so unique numismatically. Insofar as, you know, we have the change of the American Silver Eagle, which has been absolutely huge. I mean, that's been the the, the most incredible part of the American, uh, uh, what the United States Mint has done in American numismatics. So we changed the Silver Eagle for the first time. It's literally a once in a lifetime opportunity. And what this is, is this is the transition set. So they did the transition in a single year rather than year over year, which is, a, which is an absolutely huge deal. So we've got the transition within a single solitary year. I think that's really important for you to understand. And so that's historic. Then we have the Morgan Silver Dollar about to come up and that's historic. So all of these things are truly historic from a United States Mint standpoint. And so this coin embodies it because you have the entire change within one year. Within 2021, you have the last of the old coin. You have the first two coins of the new coin and they're done in proof which is the most desirable absolutely positively the most desirable of all of the united states mint uh, um, manufacturing processes if you will is the proof american silver eagle so tremendous opportunity this is legacy this is something you put away for years and years and years and years because this is the transition embodied in a single year it is indeed. And once more, any of the selections that we've had for the last, um, well, hour and a half, we've had maybe 300, maybe 400 in terms of availability, but not on some, you know, on some boat and some port. Uh, immediate shipment that also applies on the set to get that we'll be showcasing in just a few moments. But of course, HSN Cares is dedicated to empowering women and helping families in times of need. And you can join HSN Cares in support of St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital so that families never receive a bill from St. Jude for treatment, travel, housing, or food. And we're highlighting powerful patient stories like Cameron's throughout the campaign. One day I got a call from his school and I had to go pick him up because he couldn't walk. So we knew something was wrong. Took him to the ER, they did an MRI. And that's when they saw the tumor along his spinal cord. An oncologist who recognized what she saw uh, advised that they scan upward. And when they did that, they found the source at the base of the brain. One of his nurses uh, nicknamed him the boy or the kid with the magic smile. Trust me, that's stuck in his brain, and I think he smiles more, and he says, I got that magic smile. Thank goodness, through the research, they learned that there was a specific type of treatment for Cameron's specific cancer that they were able to implement, and it was very effective. And of course, you can visit HSN Cares at hsn.com for more patient stories and information on how to donate. And together, we make a difference. All right, we are continuing here at HSN. And you know, I always encourage you, you know, we have such generous customers. And of course, everything counts. You know, a, a dollar, three dollars, five dollars, every, every donation makes a difference for sure. Well, um, Mike Mizak, of course, certainly makes a difference when it comes to coin collecting here at HSN. The information is actually just as powerful as the opportunities that he presents for us. And in case you missed last hour, this was a special two hour primetime showcase. Mike has only one more show for the rest of the year. But in terms of highlights, when Mike Mizak gets excited and he says that this is the most important, the most significant, the most exciting, the fastest selling coin or a series of coins or set of coins, that he's ever done in over 25 years here at HSN, 
That's big, my friends. In one brief show with Helen and then the abbreviated look we had last hour, we have sold more than two thirds of the inventory. So while I realize at first blush, when you look at your screen, is it more of an upfront, you know, I guess, um, quote unquote investment, most assuredly. But when you listen and learn and process the information, I think you'll understand why the majority, the majority of these are already spoken for. So if you can, I really want to encourage you, please shop now because we have them. They are not in some boat, they're not in some port, we have them. But what we have is now the final quantities. Because again, most of them that Mike was able to secure and you are really parlaying or taking advantage of his cachet in the industry that we even have this to talk about. On three flexible payments, extended holiday return policy, 790286. Mike will also reference the auto ship program which allows you to kind of parcel these out one at a time, but uh, that is also very limited with, I think, fewer than 400. So Mike, I turn the reins over to you. I'll show everybody too, also has that box. But um, the big thing people need to realize is most of these have already been spoken for. So you launched it, you debuted it during the two o'clock show. And guess what? Um, my personal prediction is, I think this will be the only day that people will see this, just based on the response that we've had. Because we know people shop after the fact, but quite candidly, people have been buying during the show. And even though it's a considered purchase, uh, I am confident when I say every single one of these will go. Would you agree, Mike? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, and, and then you have to add in, you know, we have the auto ship opportunity as well, which has been pretty uh, substantial uh, in terms of allocating coins. Because understand, once uh, once someone buys the auto ship, I mean, we have to reserve all six coins, obviously. I don't think there's any doubt about that. So that's really important for you to understand that you've got the uh, uh, you've got to the limited edition of this. I, and, and I'm just trying to find a different way to say this is the limited edition on this is. The United States government made a tenth of what they should have made. Let's put it that way. I'll just make it this way. The United States underproduced this coin at a level unlike anything I've ever seen. They made 175,000 of each coin, which makes it five of the rarest Morgan silver dollars ever made by the United States Mint and the rarest peace dollar ever made by the United States Mint. They put that all out there. They, they made the coins. They sold them out in minutes. And I don't even know when or if they are going to uh, uh, produce these. When are they going to ship these coins? All I know is they had a very small quantity of these, well, advanced release coins, that are coins that are going to be released early, if you will. We got some of those coins, and that's what these are. So first things first, we have the coins that are in stock ready to ship. The vast majority of people have never seen these coins. They don't know that they exist. It's just one of those deals. Secondly, the coin itself. It's the 100th anniversary of the Morgan Silver Dollar, the singularly most popularly collected coin in the history of the United States Mint is the Morgan Silver Dollar in terms of vintage coins. that there have, There's not enough coins. The United States government made a billion Morgan Silver Dollars. And in those silver dollars, you know how many Mint State 70s there are? That number is zero. They have made zero Mint State 70 American uh, uh, Morgan Silver Dollars that are still in existence. Now you can get a complete Mint Mark set of Morgan Silver Dollars in Mint State 70 condition right here, right now, because they made this special edition. And understand, this isn't a reprint or a redone in any way, shape, or form. This is a 100% original Morgan Silver Dollar made by the United States Mint. So before, of all of the coins made by the United States Mint, the coin that is most imitated, most replicated, most commemorated of all the coins has been the Morgan Silver Dollars. They're made at other mints, that are, you know, by other countries. They're made in bars and, and rounds and everything else. That's none of this. This is an actual Morgan Silver Dollar made by the United States government in 2021. It is truly spectacular that this coin exists. The worst part of it, what I was trying to get through at the beginning of this, is the United States government, they could have sold a million of each one of these coins, but they didn't do that. They made so few of these coins, they made so few of these coins that it was a complete and total sellout. It was an immediate sellout from the United States Mint. They then, because of that, had to delay shipment for months 
because of a shortage of silver. They were so overwhelmed. Millions and millions and millions of these coins were ordered by the United States uh, uh, public. And what happened is that the United States men had to, in essence, not allow most of those orders because they only made 175,000 each. They only sold them. They sold two coins at a time and they sold out instantly. I have no idea when the United States Mint are going to ship all those regular issue coins. All I know is there was a very small 10% of the mintage that was released, in essence, to uh, some of their biggest customers. We were able to get one of those allocations, in essence, and that's the coins. That's why I have the coins. I have all my coins. All of our coins have been certified. All of our coins have been graded. I know how many Mint State 70 sets. Almost anything else, any place else <clears throat> that you go out in the Mint and try to buy these coins, they're going to be a pre-sell. You have no idea when those coins are going to get to you. You have no idea what's going to happen. They don't know how they're going to grade. They don't know when they're going to ship. We have got these coins in stock ready to go. That's the important thing. There's people charging well more than this for coins that you have no idea. You might not even get this year. So we've got the coin secondarily. And this is, I think, the embodiment of why it's so important, why it's so popular, why it's so collectible, why it's so desirable. Everybody loves the Morgan Silver Dollars. Look, they're the, they're the cartwheels of the Old West. They're the embodiment of cowboy money. The problem is, is when the United States government made, made them, they literally shoveled them into bags. And that's the way they were carried around. And so those coins clank together for years. And they all have what are called bag marks on them. They all have bag marks on them. And that, that's why the grades 65, 66, 67 are tremendously, tremendously high grades that bring thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a per coin basis. These coins are none of those. These are the only Morgan silver dollars in existence that have no mag marks that are absolutely positively perfect. You're looking at them right here. You are 100% looking at them right here. Secondly, every mint that the United States Mint made Morgan silver dollars at is represented by these coins. They made these coins at the Philadelphia Mint from 1878 to 1921. They made them at the San Francisco Mint from 1878 to 1921. They made them at the New Orleans Mint from 1879 to 1904. They made them at the Carson City Mint from 1878 to 1893. And then the Denver minted coin was actually only made one other year. It was only made in 1921. So this is literally, if you have a 1921 Morgan, this is the bookend. They only made two. They made one in 1921, and then they made one in 2021. That's just the way that it is. So there are two Denver Mint and Morgan Silver Dollars, and this is one of them. So incredibly important in terms of from a numismatic standpoint. Now add in the fact that they limited edition and that they're graded Mint State 70. Now, another thing I want to point out on the peace dollar, which is high relief. The only year the peace dollar was made in high relief was 1921. So I think it's fitting that, that the only other peace dollar now made in high relief is 2021. So the centennial coin was also made in high relief. So you have the high relief peace dollar. You have every single uh, uh, mint mark of the Morgan silver dollars. You've got all of those coins. You have all graded 70. They're all graded perfect. And that, I think, is incredibly, incredibly important for you to, uh, uh, to understand what your opportunity is. And then add in the fact that we have the coins in stock. So who knows what's going to happen in the future? Who knows what's going to happen two months or three months or four months from now when all these other sets, okay, all these other sets are, are going to start hitting into the market? What if they don't ship two of the coins, which is what I've heard until November or even December? Who knows what's going to happen? I know one thing and I know a fact. I've got sets. My sets are in stock ready to ship. We're going to start shipping these right after you order them. I know of no other place that you're going to and, – and for this particular coin, you cannot get this set anywhere except from my company. I've got the exclusives. 
I've got the exclusives from uh, uh, NGC to have that special label that you see there with the Morgan silver dollar and the peace silver dollar on it that you see right there. So I've got the exclusive, <clears throat> excuse me, on that label. So this set is exclusive to me. Now add in the exclusivity of a coin that is was sold out instantaneously from the United States Mint. I mean instantaneously from the United States Mint, and they released them two at a time. Two coins sold out just like that. They had to wait another month to sell the other two coins. Sold out just like that. Then the last two coins sold out. Then they delayed the release, the shipping of these coins, for months and months and months. I got my coins already. Who knows when everybody else is getting their coins? And I've heard that they haven't started shipping these for quite some time, and I think that's exactly what you're going to see, okay? Is you're exactly 100% not going to know when or if. Well, if they're going to ship the coins, okay? I'm not going to make that speculation. What I can speculate is, is I don't know if they're even going to ship them this year, okay? I don't even know if they're going to ship them this year. And I think that's really important for you to understand. So if you're looking for, let's say, holiday shopping, okay, Christmas shopping, now's the time. I don't know anybody else that can guarantee 100%. Secondly, and I want to, and I want to go to this, and we've kind of discussed this kind of to some degree, Shannon. $3,599.95, I understand, is a big bite at the apple, <laughs> okay? That's like the whole thing. That's just leaving the core, maybe. But this is so significant from a numismatic standpoint, the most popular coin ever. And this is, you have to understand, these are Morgan silver dollars. They're not a commemorative coin or a series. It's an exact, it's a Morgan silver dollar just dated 2021. It's absolutely unique. The United States government made centennial things of the walking liberty half dollar, but they did it in gold. They're thousands of dollars apiece. They did the standing liberty quarter in a centennial series, but in gold, thousands of dollars apiece. These were made exactly to the original specifications. That is huge. That is absolutely monstrous that they did these in silver, and it's an exact coin. It is a coin. It's not a replica. It's not a commemorative. This is a Morgan silver dollar. And so because of that, the incredible numismatic significance of this, I felt it absolutely critical that we make it as available as is humanly possible. And by doing this, I have the complete set. Obviously, the way to go is the complete set at $35.99.95. We have FlexPay. That's on HSN. Thank you so much. We normally never, never, never do flex pay on high-dollar items like this. But HSN said, yes, we're going to do that. All right. Secondly, we also have an auto ship that we'll get to in a minute. Now, here's the thing, and I've not mentioned this at all, Shannon. I've not mentioned this at all. They are absolutely unique in the Morgan Silver Dollar series in that they're made out of pure silver. Oh, wow. All the original Morgan Silver Dollars were done in 900 fine silver, 90% silver. These are 99.9%. .9%. So they're, they're the 100-year anniversary. They're the 2021 coins, but they're absolutely positively unique in their composition as well. They're absolutely unique in their composition as they are 99.9% .9 silver. I think that's really important. So they're unique by grade. They're unique by presentation because the holder is unique to me. Okay, so you have the uniqueness of the holder. You have the uniqueness of the grade. They're the only Mint State 70s in the entire Morgan Silver Dollar series. They're the only Morgan Silver Dollars that have been done in absolutely pure silver. All of that is 100% unique. And so now it is also unique insofar as I have the coins in stock ready to ship as well. <clears throat> Anybody else is in essence selling you pre-sell coins, coins that are going to be available. Now, I know the United States Mint is going to ship coins, but these people that are pre-selling them, I don't 100% know that they're going to get the coin. I know the Mint's going to make the coins. I just don't know if those people are going to actually get the coins as well. I think that's really important for you to understand. I mean, it's always about a bird in the hand, I guess, is the best way to put that, uh, is what it is. We've got the coins. We guarantee that they're absolutely perfect. They're in stock. They're ready to ship. They're unique on about 15 different levels. The key is you have to buy them. We have already sold, <clears throat> I think, the better part of 
150 or 200 sets. We have a few over 200 sets available. There's only dozens of these remaining. There are only dozens of these remaining. And then when you add in the auto ship component to this, okay, add in the coins that come in the, uh, in the availability of auto ship with this, there's another 100 or 150 sets that have been ordered in auto ship. That's all that I have. Well, I got this incredible, incredible early quantity, which I'm absolutely so happy to be able to do. This is it. I sell it in one day. Everything we've been waiting for for two years is gone in, in eight hours is basically what it comes down to. I debuted them at 2 p.m. By 10 p.m., we're just about out of all the quantity uh, that we have. So here's the key. If you're a collector, if you want to be a collector, if you know a collector, this is the set. As you said, Shannon, I think very adroitly, the set to get right here. It is. It's a set to get for fewer than 200 remaining. Actually, far far fewer than 200 remaining. And certainly, yes, uh, more of a, an investment or, you know, an educational awareness. But once you, the more you know, the more you're compelled to get this. And I think that's why we've had uh, just such an overwhelming response. If you can secure yours now, I really want to encourage you to do so. I really do. Because um, at this point, and uh, I guess there's no guarantee. I'll, I'll quiz Mike on that when we get to the auto ship about how, if people are taking advanced order, if they can even guarantee they would grade at that perfect, you know, at that, that 70. Um, um, in fact, speaking of which, now, of course, you can always go to hsn.com. This presentation will be on hsn.com. That's actually how a lot of people shop after the fact, which we encourage you to do so. So, Mike, I know we were saying, you know, bird in the hand and, you know, they're not in some, you know, port, some boat, you know, somewhere. But uh, all right. So the people who are taking the advanced orders, can they guarantee, like you said, I mean, that's kind of the Wild West in terms of, you know, what they will or what, when they receive it. Can, can, they, can they guarantee that they would have a certain allocation or that, 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 that no. 70, so they really can't until they have them, right? Well, you have confirmed, there's people with perhaps confirmed orders from the United States Mint, but unless you see their confirmation, I don't know, you're taking their word for it. Right. And like I said, if you go out there in the internet, I, I mean, you know, and look, if you want to buy coins on the internet, more power to you. It's the wild west out there. You want to be a queen cowboy? your business knock yourself out i can tell you i'm on there shopping all the time and taking care of that so that you don't have to okay so that you don't have to it is crazy out there it is absolutely crazy out there in terms of what's happening i have ordered literally thousands of dollars worth of coins that i have never received i've never seen a coin as heavily counterfeited as this particular coin. And the reason is, and I see lots of these coins being counterfeited in China, they'll give you the silver. Uh, and anything you see that's of a lower value, in essence, okay, a lower price, I would be extraordinarily cautious on, okay? So, to get back to this, our coins directly from the United States Mint, one stop. United States Mint, us, you. United States Mint, us, you. Well, United States Mint, us, grading company, you. Okay, absolutely positively guaranteed. So here's what the auto ship is. It's really, really, really simple. You pay $5.99, you get a Morgan Silver Dollar. I think it's the Philadelphia minted coin is what you're going to get. Then once a month, every 30 days, so really only five months, you get another coin every month until you get the entire set. So it's a five month process. You get to push it out a little bit. Like I said, $3,599, particularly as we're coming in towards the end of the year, not the easiest thing, but it's a little better. You get to push that into the next year, in essence, is what we're looking at. And, and so that's important. I think that that's a great opportunity for you. So this is a way to kind of spread that out, but still, and here is the crucial part of this, Shannon, is once you're in the auto ship, your price can never go up wow. and your delivery is guaranteed until you receive your coins. You may cancel at any time and say, hey, I got the first three coins, that's fine. But your price can never go up. What if these things go to a $1,000 coin? It does not no. matter. Your price is $5.99. What if all of a sudden they're sold out and uh, the coins are impossible to get? You're getting your coins. I own the coins. So what happens is, is when you buy your auto ship, you get the first coin. I have the other five coins. They go in the vault with your name on it. Okay. They go in the vault with your name on it. 
And that's exactly what you're looking at. That's exactly what your opportunity is here. So <clears throat> you get those coins. We guarantee the shipment. We guarantee your coins no matter what. And <clears throat> that peace of mind. So when you said earlier, can anybody else guarantee that you're going to get all the coins? I don't know if they, they can try it. I guess they can guarantee, but whether they follow through on it, I have no right. idea. I don't know what their ability is to get coins. If they have coins, I don't know if they're making it up. We have the coins. I have your coins. Your coins are put aside, period. That's the end of the story. You're going to get your coins. I guarantee it absolutely, positively, 100%. Your price will never go up. Your delivery is guaranteed for the entire life of the program. <clears throat> as long as you choose to remain in the program, you're going to get the coin. So we've made this absolutely, positively uh, buyable, ownable at every single solitary level. It is so important. I pulled, we pulled up, and we pulled all the strings to make sure you can buy the set, you can buy the set on FlexPay, or you can get it in auto ship. It is so important that you get this. It is one of the single most important, significant collectible releases by the United States Mint, certainly in the last 25 years, maybe in the last 50 years. And that's why you have to get in. You have to lock in your, your place. You've got to you know, set your claim, you know, stake your claim 100%. And that's what you get to do with this. Well, people are definitely taking your advice, Mike, because in both of the choices, you know, the set to get, remember, uh, far fewer than 200 of those remaining. And then we also, I think, Steve, have only 300 available in auto ship. Am I close, like in that ballpark? Uh, about 300 or so? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry about that. We, we have uh, just a little over 100 remaining in the, in the auto ship. So um, either way, you stack it or select it or do it or choose it, either in the auto ship or get that set to get all at one fell swoop, definitely want to encourage you to do so. We've got just a couple of moments remaining in this show. I think Leslie's coming up after me and then Suzanne. Does Suzanne start at 11 o'clock with Amon? Oh, I'm telling you, I was backstage. There are so many fabulous things from Amon and uh, Suzanne coming up. Uh, all right, Mike, uh, here's again when we, you know, the set to get. Let's highlight a couple of, you know, additions that people might want to consider. And this is one of them, correct? Well, here, here's the thing. Even if you bought the set, even if you're in the auto ship, doesn't matter. If you, you need to get this coin additionally, and let me explain it to you why. So they made the United States, they, they made the, the coins from all of the five mints that made the Morgan Silver Dollars. We've sold mint mark Morgan Silver Dollar sets in the past. They're like twelve or fifteen or eighteen hundred dollars in circulated condition. These are perfect. So they made it Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco, New Orleans, and Carson City. Carson City is by far, by far the most desirable mint. And let me explain why. It is unique insofar as all the rest of the mints by the United States Mint were made specifically uh, because of population centers to distribute coinage. This was made for a whole different reason. They discovered silver at the Comstock load in Carson, just outside Carson City, Nevada. There was so much silver. It's the greatest silver deposit on Earth at, at the time. And... Rather than transport the silver to the San Francisco Mint, which was the closest mint, they literally just built the mint at Carson City to just make the coins. It is legendary. It is the embodiment of the Old West because they only made them from 1878 to 1893 in the heyday of, of cowboy money. And because it was only used to make that Comstock load silver, all of the CCs are rare. And some of the legendary rarities in American coins have been the Carson City silver dollars, particularly for many years. It was the 1885 Carson City Morgan silver dollar. The 1885 was a legendary rarity until the United States government found the uh, uh, found some in the vaults. For years, it was basically a million-dollar coin. Then all of a sudden, they found some coins, and it became more valuable again, or, or less valuable, more to, more available. The 1893, one of the great American rarities. So the Carson City Mint has always been legendary in terms of collectability because they've been very limited, very compacted years that they were available. Well, now they have one more year. 
So it was made from 1878 to 1893, 2021. And since they're already done with that, then they're going to have um, also, they had to do, because the Carson City Mint is shut down, they had to do what was called a privy mark, okay? Because they couldn't actually put the mint on from the Carson City. They used the Carson City Mint mark, but they put it on a little blob of silver that they call the, uh, that they call privy seal, okay? Uh, uh, because it goes on that, that it's an extra seal, an extra mint mark, an extra something on the United States mint coin. And if we get in close to that, in between the D and the O and dollar right there it is, you can see the CC, the only double mint mark in the history of the United States mint, the only double mint mark in the history of the U.S. mint, it's right here. This is the single most significant coin in the six coin set by this coin additionally. Absolutely. Okay, well, we, we have to wrap because there are just a couple of moments remaining in the show. Uh, remember, you're always welcome to go to hsn.com and revisit this presentation. And guys, Steve, is it okay just because these presentations do live on hsn.com? Uh, as we do this next coin, can we also just on the left side um, show that set to get the item number just in case people are watching on hsn.com? That just kind of popped into my head. We keep referencing the set to get because I know a lot of you are still calling. Um, on the auto ship on the set to get, there are just a, basically the final 100 on the, the set to get all of them at once. Steve, there are what, just a little over 100? remaining, give or take. And again, this presentation will live online. Uh, Mike, in, 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 you know, deference to that, you know, again, one more coin that we want to highlight as something that people should consider adjacent to the set to get, correct? Oh. Mark Morgan silver dollars. In other words, the two defunct mints that they no longer make coins at. Get Carson City, kind of that history with that, but you also have the New Orleans Mint. And you mentioned this earlier, I think, which is truly fascinating, the fact that they did, um, uh, the, the New Orleans Mint has actually made coins for, in essence, three different entities. The United States made coins there. The government of France had it for a little bit and made coins there. And then uh, during the Civil War, the Confederacy made coins at the New Orleans Mint as well. So you put all of those things, uh, uh, all those things together. And New Orleans is very, very interesting. And you can tour the shutdown New Orleans Mint in New Orleans if you see fit. Uh, if you make your way to New Orleans, and a, a quick, uh, uh, quick, just a quick shout out, New Orleans. My son was in New Orleans. His football team was in New Orleans uh, in a away game from here in Florida. They they won a big nationally ranked game. It's uh, spectacular. So sorry, I just gotta I just gotta represent my my youngest boy who plays for Berkeley Preparatory School. So uh, sorry about that. Uh, but also the New Orleans Mint coin is really important to get uh, as well. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I, I will say, I mean, that's exciting news uh, in and of itself. But, you know, it's like, exciting that we have Mike here and that we have this here for you now. Um, Steve, I want to double check. Was there special VIP financing on this one? I'm trying... Okay, that's what I thought. So there is 12-month VIP financing on this. So if you're... Which makes it... I'm sorry, how much, Steve? $38 and change. So $38 and change. Oh, and that's, that's if you use your HSN card. You know, and Mike, I, I do. I think it's important that wow. people digest the information. But um, once more, the fact that we have them, the fact that they have the flex pay, the fact that they still have not just a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee, but an extended holiday return policy. So it, it is nice that you have a multitude of assurances that just really make everybody's while to select it while we have them here. Would you agree? Yeah, 100%. That's the case. Once again, in stock, ready to go. And one last point here. Of all of the coins, the New Orleans Mint is the hardest one to get in Mint State 70 perfect. That's the hardest coin to get. Absolutely, positively, no doubt about it. That's the hardest coin to get is the New Orleans Mint. It's the hardest one to get in perfect 70 condition. That's the coin uh, uh, to get. So in terms of grade, this is the one. It is indeed. And remember, three flex pays, uh, but 12 months of VIP financing. One more show for the rest of the year. That's like, wow, Mike. I guess yep. time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> yeah, just that way. Yeah, uh, November the 8th. 
Sounds That's good. And just the primetime show. We don't have the overnight show. Wow. All right. Well, Mike, you know, always a treat to see you. I know people will continue to Pleasure. do their shopping um, at hsn.com, and that's where you can also revisit some of those presentations if you would like to kind of rewind it or just listen again to some of the information that Mike was presenting. It's gifts to give and get, of course. And, uh, of course, I'm going to be no, I, I know I'm going to be doing some shopping. Leslie's coming up. Last interview of today's special, and Suzanne's got him on later, too. Global Chic is all about fashion freedom. New fabrics, patterns, and soft silhouettes with spicy details. So be free. Iman Global Chic, only on HSN. We're making it pay to shop early this holiday during our Gift Now weekend. Clear those lists and start the celebrations. Because with deals this good, even Santa's on his way to HSN. Join us for our Gift Now weekend Friday at midnight. My singular goal is to improve the quality of people's lives. Everything we do is intended to be unlike any other company of our kind. We just make exceptional vitamins so you could have exceptional health. It's not important that you get the products I'm offering, but it's very important that you get the information I'm sharing because information is the key to being a healthy person. Tree. Santa has elves, you 